Here we go again. Some more. Let's fucking kick the shit out of Icewind Dale. I st I am on it. All right, Seth, papers please. Now, the, the old deal with Seth here is, is he's a bad little rogue. If you don't kill him here, he will show up later during a very uh, big brawl with Marketh, and you really don't want this little guy stabbing you in the back at that point. So I actually suggest you kill him here. Your desire. Yes. And yes, he's not alone. I actually fucked that up quite good. Hi. Uh, the key is just to attack him straight up. Yes. Summons all these thieves to kick your ass. I'm seeing if there's a way to actually aggro him back here. I, I am on it. Yes. Your desire. Very well. So, like, if we launch a fireball right there. Looks like he gets away anyways. I'll wash my beard in your blood. I await yes, it shall be done. I mean, we'll take the easy experience either way, but... Fuck it, we're Duty just storming call. this place. You can count on me. guy up here throwing shit at me. Well, I thought there was a way to kill that little bastard out there, but who knows, I'm fucking it up somehow. Those are 
screamers. They, uh, they're basically summoning all kinds of other creatures here. Things are annoying. My sword is yours. Oh, once you get things Ready, quieted down here. Very... Yes, shall be done. the fire so I'm gonna kill you next. It shall be done. We'll speak with Callard here. Mellow, what are you doing in here? Lord Chamberlain Marketh will harm you if he finds you. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be all right. Well, all right. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. This is a dangerous place. Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm Callard. I'm a sculptor for Lord Chamberlain Marketh. He took me out of the mines so my son and I could sculpt the statue of him. Lord Chamberlain Market made us tear down the statue of Dorn. Poor Dorn. It's a good thing you can't see his little palace now. This is a very detailed sculpture. How do you manage to do it without having Marketh here? We're the Verne Ver Verneblin sculptors. See a person's face, it becomes a block of stone. Inside of every block of stone, there are a million faces. By looking at a block of stone, we instantly know how to chisel away everything that is not the face we see in our minds. Really? No, actually, we just use a drawing of him. It's pretty good. Flozum, one of the Lord Chamberlain Marcus' bodyguards, drew it. You can have it if you want. We already have most of the detail done. The face and the ring were the hardest parts. Thank you. You know, you seem pretty easy going for a man who lives in constant fear of his life. I don't fear for my life, just for my sons. Fear is one thing I wouldn't give Marketh. I would fight for him, mine for him. I'd even die for him to save my son. I'd never let him terrify me. That's why he went after my son. We're almost half the size of Marketh, but we're all bigger men than he is. Thank you. Farewell. So now we have a sketch of portrait of Marketh. Done in charcoal. His pose is that of an elegant statesman. We can actually use that against him in a way. Just say the word. Possibly. You can Ready give it to one of his bodyguards to get him to disband. And that will of you course be advantageous me. for us. Here. Now that the slaughter fest is done here. Now there's a lot of hub levels off of this main level here. Hold on, we got some more mushrooms to kill. What is it you require? Oh yes, I'm here. 
Oh yes, yeah, she's here. At your service. What? Was that the okay? Can't remember if I uh, identified all that I stuff stand yet. Ready. I. That leads to the lower Dorn mines, which we're not quite ready yet to go to. That leads to the Fallen Temple, which is definitely not ready to go to. Let's head up to the Palace Level 2. What? Good. At your command, you can count on me. Go ahead, leave the shadows. You're just gonna get gibbed, buddy. Them. This is one of Marquette's bodyguards here. Hey, what are you doing here? I uh, must have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me. I reckon I might be able to. Where are you headed? Oh, nowhere particular. Farewell. Sorry, young fella, but I can't let you go. I get the impression you're up to no good. I'm gonna have to prevent you from wandering around in my employer's home, causing mischief and the like. Okay. Whatever you think, there, buddy. I'm gonna boil mm -hmm. your blood. And magic missile your butthole. Oh, I am ready. And then I'm going to kick your ass. I am ready as always. You have my attention. Bye bye. My sword is yours. I shall see to it. And I'm going to take your gold, dickhead. And rape and pillage your room. Well, pillage it, anyways. Bathed in blood, Keros the Red wore this blood red of suit plate mail through many of the years that he fought for the Church of, Church of Tempest. He was born as the son of a humble farmer near Caliunt. When he was a young man, he set off for the city to hire himself out as a mercenary. After a number of successful endeavors, Keros became a short-term member of many adventuring companies. Along the way, despite his many victories, Keros became disgusted and terrified by the sight of blood. He fear eventually spiraled out of control, consuming him with madness. Priest of Tempest found the huge warrior and took him into safekeeping. The priest believed that they could cure Keros of his fear. Over several years, Keros learned the ways of Temperan, religion, eventually becoming a priest. His final step in overcoming his fear was the submerging in a tub of blood until he almost drowned. All the time he was held down, he never struggled, flinched, or tried to escape. In the later years, he had a suit of armor made to remind him of his past. And it's just straight up plate mail minus one. Which will bring us to minus three. Minus. 
a seven. That's ridiculous. We'll go minus six for Brandish. Now he's really hard to hit. Honestly, we need to give something to our dwarf. Our dwarf's a fighter, you know. We're not really picking locks or traps here. We're going to go ahead and give the dwarf minus five for now. We're not doing a whole lot of trap binding, and we're just going to switch between the two because it's pretty huge to go from minus two to five. He'll need that. What other goodies did we get? A morning star. Large shield plus one and a long sword plus one. Those are celebrated. Plus four defender. Nice. Fifteen magic resistance. Twenty two D four plus four. This particular mace is mounted with a golden head that has been magically enhanced so as to prove performance and escape the malleability of gold. It's actually really good for our priest. I'm here. I am here. The extra priest level one spells really aren't that great, so we're gonna go ahead and give her that mace. Plus armor class bonus of two. That brings her down to minus six. Awesome, awesome weapon. Just safe very well. All right. And one less bodyguard to worry about. Stupid thieves. Hey, girl. Hello. Well met. May I have the pleasure of your name? My name's Jennifer. Jennifer, not a big talker, are you? No, I don't get a chance to talk to people very much. My cat doesn't have many visitors, and I, I can't really leave. Marquette, is he the person who hit you? Please don't hurt him. It's not Marquette's fault. It's mine, really. I should have made him angry. How did you make him angry? I, I spoke to him in drow. It was wrong of me. Well, it certainly doesn't warrant Marquette beating you. Do you want me to take care of him for you? No, please don't. Whatever he's done, you must promise me you won't hurt him. Okay, I won't hurt him. Thank you. I understand why you're here. It's something to do with Pokemon, doesn't it? Listen, I know this will sound crazy, but I'm sure that Marquette could be a better person somehow if he could just get out of here. If you want to break up Pokemon's army, you'll need each of the lieutenant's badges. Marquette has one. They open an invisible barrier at the back of the fallen temple. Brother Pertium and the undead fellows watch over it. Whatever you do, please don't hurt Marquette. It's not his fault he's such a little bitch. Farewell, Jennifer. I shall think about not killing him. Just so I can get the extra experience points from you. Uh oh, more thieves. If you have an invisibility purge, you can use that now. I don't think I have it. And I certainly don't have it memorized. Oh yes, I'm pot as Run, retard. How 
can I help? Stop letting my mages get beat up. Flozam, there he is. Damn, he didn't give him much time. I, I see. You have I do so. Ready and willing. Get up in there with that new mace. I yes. Uh let's see. I await your instructions. What is it you require? That fucking guy hurts. At your eyes. I am ready to say it. At your service. At your it shall be done. Jesus. Now you shall pay. He's a bad bastard. Tell me your you have need of me. Hmm. Immediately. Yeah, he fucking just slayed my wizard like nothing. <laughs> he cut my mage. He cut Carcius down to size. Jesus Christ. Alright, we need to better prepare for this dick licker. Yes, so be it. What is it you require? It's called a spell of haste. Crazy. Man, See if that dickhead right. survives this. I am by your side. Yeah, night night, buddy. Nobody fucks with her. Nobody fucks with the haze spell. Sanctified Morning Star. Another long sword plus one, another large shield plus one. And the girdle of Stromnos. Raises user strength to 19. That's poop. Well, it's a belt to give 19 strength. He's already got 19. We'll give it to our dwarf. At your spoon. There we go. Stand ready. Very well. The books on this shelf range from a brief history of cult to magical theory and practice. For one day, time to sleep now. My mind grows tired. I must rest. We know, we know. I am exhausted. It's a good little dwarf potion. Cloud giant strength, that's 23. Oh, well, that's good, we need that. We're gonna divvy that all out eventually on the boss. Wisdom to 18, that's worthless. Gonna sell all that shit. At 
you. You can count on me. It's the cook. Oi! What are you doing in my kitchen? None of your business, fatty. There's no reason to be hostile, mate. I don't care what you're up to, just leave me out of it. What'll give you an extra fat lip? Oi now, mate, don't be hurting me. I won't squawk, leave me be. Alright, good. Where's the fucking sack of potatoes? That's my sack of potatoes now. The sack of potatoes is what you're gonna give the deep gnomes my sword is yours. back at the oubliette. Set duty calls. Yeah, I bet you're leaving shadows. Get your asses out here. Ready and willing. Aye. I am ready. Invisible bastards are, but duty calls. Anyways, not time for them thieves. They're weak. want to come out of the shadows and get their asses beat? Be happy to oblige. Oh, we got foes nearby. Okay. You have yes, right. it shall be it done. It shall be done. <laughs> Anyone else? Wow. 42 slashing damage from Ronstock. That's gotta fucking hurt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try something devious here. Easy as compliment pie. I am on it. I'm just gonna run Ronstock through this whole level and kite every fucking thief I can. Gonna be interesting. <laughs> you I await in yes. I better get the big guys out. I await your instructions. At your command, it shall oh, be no. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's get it on, get it on, get it on, oh, motherfucker, get it on, get it on, get it on like a crazy song, bitch. I mean, really, there's got to be more than that. Mm -hmm. I'm here, Jordan. My sword is yours. I. I'm gonna have to do another run. Big bell. This huge bell appears to have recently been restored. Ding dong. Ding dong. The throne is relatively new and seems to be too big for a dwarf to sit in. Seriously? Mono e mono. They take 38 slashing damage. And another 13. And that equals your demise.
Oh, got another guy. Mono, mono. Oh, I'll take two at once. I'll take three even. Four, I am not going to do. That is past my limit. Holy sh... Holy shit, Joey. Oh, this is not too good. That's good, though. Fuck, I messed my screen up. Hold on, let me move it back here. There we go. We're going to lure all these little bastards back. I knew we were missing some. Come on, big guys, wait up. Just say the... I shall see to it. Attack! Holy shit. What is it That's what I'm want? talking about. I am ready as always. Yes. Let's get, let's get caught up in there too. It's a big old battle. I'm not going to be able to do much more. Yeah, that sucks to be you. Ready and willing. I think I saw I one chicken falling. shit come running this way. There he is. Come on. There we go. Now we're talking. They're all carrying right around 50 gold pieces, so... You know, it's up to you if you want to pick it all up. I didn't manage to kill a little halfling earlier. This is his bedroom. He is most likely going to show up to backstab me in this fight here. Then again, I'm going to try not to fight. Well, well. What do we have here? To whom do I own the pleasure of visit? I'll be asking the questions. Who are you? I am Lord Chamberlain Marketh. I am responsible for making sure that New Dorn's Deep runs efficiently, among other things. Lord Chamberlain, New Dorn's Deep? It's a little pretentious, don't you think? Certainly not. We believe that New Dorn's Deep is going to be the center of a very impressive community in the coming years. A community which the dwarves will have no part in, of course. You're living in a dream world, Marketh. Ah. But the dream will come true, my friends. There is nothing anyone can do to stop it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. You don't get it, do you, Marketh? I came in for your badge. You're not going anywhere until you hand it over. You know, you look like a reasonable person. I'm just a thief. I'm not looking for a fight. I don't suppose there's any chance you take the badge and let me go, is there? Hmm, how about you hand over the badge and all your armor and weapons? I don't want you causing any trouble. And then he says, Ugh, how embarrassing. Fine, here's my black dragon scale. You know how hard it is to get this? Here's my sword. Uh, I don't suppose there's any chance you'd let me keep this ring around my neck, is there? Okay, you can keep your precious ring. Ah, you're truly a saint. I'm sure Almato will give you a big pat on the head. When you die, farewell. So we're going to let him go, just... What do you mean? we got a fucking mage down here attacking us? May the power tear you asunder! Expect no water! That mage ain't doing shit. That's what he's fucking doing. He's getting killed. I duty call. Hmm? 
Yeah, that's right. I stand ready. We just got a lot of badass shit. But you're gonna have to come back to the next video if you want to see exactly what it is.